Good morning, you guys. Welcome back. Today, this is dark. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you what our six month old eats in a day. It is currently 8 a.m. Girl has already had a breastfeeding session. She still eats, actually, she eats a lot. <laughs> she eats anywhere from five to eight breastfeeding sessions a day as well as two to three solid meals a day. So right now I am working on her first solid meal of the day. We are going to do an egg and some unsweetened applesauce. We only have these little containers right now. We normally have like a big container of it, but this is what we have, so we're gonna use this. I also have the easy peasy cup, an open cup to teach her how to drink water. She loves water, it's so funny. Now before we jump into this video, I want to say we are doing baby led weaning. This has been okayed by our doctor. So if you're not into baby led weaning, that's fine. That's your choice for how you raise your children. This is our choice for how we are introducing food to Lennon. So I don't wanna hear it. If you don't like it, don't watch this video. If you are interested in baby led weaning, obviously do your research, talk to your pediatrician. We're not doctors, this is just how we're choosing to raise our child. We have introduced, let's see, this is week four of her doing solids. So basically you just skip purees in this feeding method and you give them normal food. She's been introduced to four different allergens already, egg, gluten, dairy, and peanut, one per week. Try to do a new food almost every single day. Obviously sometimes that doesn't work. We're trying to introduce as many foods as possible. So this morning though, we're keeping it pretty simple. We're just doing an egg and some applesauce. We have this little silicone spoon and we fill the spoon and then give it to her and she self feeds. <laughs> I basically just made a flat fried egg and I'm gonna cut it into long strips so that she can easily grab it because she's so young. She doesn't have her pincer grasp yet so she can't pick up small pieces so she just kinda grabs it with a fistful. You'll see. <laughs> This is how we do the applesauce. Put a little on the spoon and you give it to them. <laughs> and you make a mess. It's awesome. And she kind of just gives it back to us when she wants more. She's gotten so much better at it already and it's only been a couple weeks, so. Very impressive, huh sis? And I've got her pieces of egg over here. I'm just making sure they're cool enough. You don't need it to be like cold, but you obviously don't want it to burn their little fingers. Plop the pieces down and let her go for it. done you can see if you don't like messes this method is probably not for you she ate almost this whole thing of applesauce we're still working on the egg but i would say she probably ate two-thirds of it some of it is gonna be in her bib <laughs> and the whole thing with baby led mean is you just give them the food and if they want to eat it they eat it if they don't that's okay yeah we're just learning about food yeah good job <laughs> so as soon as she finishes up, we'll show you our cleanup process. Mm, good job.
All right, it is a little bit later and it's time for Solid's meal two. She's had three breastfeeding sessions now. Got some peaches. Got a few of these little peanut butter puffs from Trader Joe's. It's a really good way to introduce peanut butter because peanut butter is a little sticky for this age. So this helps introduce that allergen. And then I'm giving her a piece of this Dave's Killer Bread. And I'm gonna put some avocado on it. So with this, I'm gonna cut off, normally I use the kitchen shears, but I can't find them right now. So I'm gonna cut off all of the crust. Gonna take some avocado. She wasn't a big fan of avocado. I think it was kind of hard for her to hold. When we put it on toast, she really likes it. It's one of her very favorite things. She gets so excited. Cut it into four strips. Again, it's really easy with the kitchen shears, but I believe that they are dirty right now. Four little strips like that, and it's really easy for her to pick up. There you go. Yummy. Now that she's about halfway done with her avocado toast, I'm going to go ahead and introduce the peaches so that she can choose if she wants to eat those right now. They're a little slippery, so you kind of have to help sometimes. Good grip on it as it goes to her mouth. <laughs> So I just put her little peanut puffs down too. You can see most of the peaches are gone. Most of the toast is gone. Is this such a good meal? You're so lucky. Mm. Got a tired mom hair. Okay, so we are about to prep final meal, well, final solids meal of the day. I breastfed her two more times again since the last time she had solids. Got her little plate here. I've already put some steamed broccoli and then some little tomato pieces. The first time we gave her tomatoes, she didn't really like them. The second time, she was obsessed. So we'll see how she feels today. I'm also gonna put half of a banana. I'll show you how I do this. Use this little crinkle cutter that we got on Amazon. And I actually cut them, so I quarter it then, slice that in half, and slice that in half. Wedges with edges. <laughs> so they're a little bit easier for her to pick up. These in this little section. And there we go. That is going to be her final solids meal of the day. Ooh, cool. Ooh, we went straight for the banana today, huh? And a tomato. Mm -hmm. Yummy. It's a good meal. Very colorful. <laughs> After she had that final meal, she took her last nap of the day and she ate three more times, I think, after that. So she had three more breastfeeding sessions. Girl is just hungry these days. We think maybe it's a gross spurt, but it's also been going on for a while now and maybe it's a change of environment. We don't really know, but she's eating all the time. It is a little exhausting for me, but you know what? She's doing what she has to do. I hope this video gave you guys some ideas of what you can feed your baby. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up for me. You're great, and we'll see you next time. Bye!